So today we are going to be talking about taking him for granted. This may sound uh, very suspicious to you, but I'm going to give you a take on it that is very important for you to actually win and be successful in your relationship if you want to take your relationship with a specific man to success. Who am I to talk about this? Well, I'm Coach Paula Grooms, a dating and relationship coach. I'm a licensed social worker, and I'm author of the book, Why Won't He Commit? How a Man Decides to Make You the One. So what about taking a man for granted is important? This is going to be a play on words, obviously. And what I mean by taking him for granted is you must take the relationship and the knowledge about yourself and the value you hold hold in his life as a given. And that's what I mean by taking him for granted. You must have in your mind and heart the self-concept whereby it is a given that your man wants to be with you. It is a given that he values you, that he loves you, that you are worthy, that you are lovable. And if you aren't involved in the community of manifesting, it can be very, very helpful for you to be. And there are particular people I love and I will put uh, below who I would like for you to look at and follow because they provide a way of manifesting and a way of getting your self-concept and your self-esteem to a place whereby you will take it as a given that any man who is with you wants to be with you, values you, thinks the world of you. And here's where I work with this concept and where I help women deal with this. I work under two umbrellas. Uh, all that I do here, of course, is about the, the approaches and the strategies that work with men and the actual doing. But if we don't, in addition, have our self-worth and self-concept at a level whereby when we are doing these approaches and strategies, it won't work as well. It will work for a time, but things will tend to go off the rails. Because if you feel in your subconscious mind that there is something about you that isn't lovable and you may think well of, of course I am because intellectually you are taking all that you have all that you are all that you show all that's on the outside and what you know about yourself on the inside you're a wonderful person you're a good girlfriend you're a wonderful lover you give your man everything that he desires in a relationship but if your self-concept, and what I mean by that, your deeply held subconscious beliefs that were actually put in you by someone else, meaning the primary people in your life from age birth to seven, that's in your subconscious mind about who you are, you will keep reliving and playing out relationships that do not work because you will be continually seeking a man's love, seeking a man's approval, and no one can give you that once you are past the age of seven. Because past the age of seven, we start to live in our conscious mind. And what we do past the age of seven and living in our conscious mind is living out what our subconscious mind has in it, which is not rationale. It's not rationality. It's not what actually is. It's what our uh, baby mind believed because we had no awareness of the world around us. Everything was from inside out, meaning that we were the cause of everything we felt, dealt with, and had in our lives. So if your environment was not the best when you were a baby, uh, if your parents' relationship was not the best, if your mother or father were not happy, you will believe that it was your fault. You were the cause. And you will continue to play that out if you had a distant or absent father for whatever reason. And it may be no fault of his at all. You will, in your subconscious mind, continually play that out if you don't do the work. Now, what I mean by taking your relationship for granted is that you must take it as a given from this new vantage point and then begin to live it out. This is hard to do. How do we do that? How do we change our subconscious mind? Well, there are myriad ways people attempt to do it. It's not an easy thing to do, but awareness is the key. First and foremost, awareness is always the start of the solution to every situation problem we face. Because if we're not aware of something, we can't fix it. 
once we become aware of it, we can fix it. And that's where you are now if you're hearing this and something clicks in you and rings true. That is the start of awareness. Oh, am I doing things, uh, feeling compelled to do it? Texting him, trying to seek his love and approval. Treating him badly, is it? I don't know. That's going to be you and you specifically. You need to figure that out and say, hmm, maybe there is something here I need to look at. And all the women in my program, we do it every week. We are looking at ourselves through the lens of that man and under the umbrella of these two ways of working to make a relationship work. And this is the beginning of it. Even if this sparked something in you, go and look at those manifestors I put in the description below. I'm going to put all that I, I like there and I work under their concepts in my work because I think it is so valuable. You must start to feel in yourself a state of being worthy, valued, and it is a given that you are lovable. It is a given that you are valuable to this man. If you underneath do not feel that, you will play it out in your relationship and you will continue to play it out in each and every subsequent relationship. And that may be what is happening for you. If you need further on this with me, vis-a-vis -vis the particular man, because if you are with someone now and you wanted to go the distance, there's a reason you found this today. Really think about this in a in a very contextual way of, am I seeking something? Is the, is the dialogue in my mind not, of course he loves me, of course I'm valuable, of course he cares, whether he's texting you today or not. If you need something from him every day to validate that he's there, your relationship, you might be dealing with this issue. I would welcome working with you on that if you have recognized it and you are ready to do the work. And again, double approach under these two umbrellas and we can make it work for you. So start taking this relationship that you have and his love for you for granted by just a few affirmations right away today. I am valued. I am lovable. I am wanted. I am worthy. If you just say those four things when you are starting to think negatively about your man or the relationship, you can turn that around on a dime and not do what you feel compelled to do, reaching out, questioning him. You will stop yourself and you will take it as a given. That's what will start you on the right track to connect with me here and I hope to be helping you more in future videos. Hit that red alert bell and subscribe so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I want to see you next time. I trust you got a lot of good information in this video and I want you to have more by subscribing and clicking that red alert bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you want even more, there are ways to talk to me. You can talk to me for free on the podcast. You can have a consultation with me. There are several other ways that you can check out by going to coachpaulagrooms.com. I am available to you. Just go now to coachpaulagrooms.com for any question to get my book to find out about any of my coaching programs, my self-help courses, anything at all that you need. I am here for you and want to give you all that is possible because all is possible for you in your romantic life and you can get what you desire and deserve. I want you to know that. I am happy you are here learning, leveling up, and I will see you in the next video.